Well, the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine trial in Monroe has been underway since early September and has almost 800 people enrolled here locally. But you may be wondering what all these vaccines look like and how they will work. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens talked with vaccine officials and helps break it down. Maya? That's right. There's multiple different options when it comes to getting the COVID-19 vaccine. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccine have already started distribution, and AstraZeneca currently has a COVID-19 trial right here in Monroe. So the question becomes, what are the differences between these three vaccines? The AstraZeneca vaccine is a modified version of a common cold. This altered virus can't make you sick as it carries a gene from the coronavirus's spike protein, which is a portion of the virus that triggers an immune response, teaching your body how to respond if you become infected with COVID-19. So our vaccine goes in and your body reacts against that. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines rely on manufactured RNA, which tricks your body in producing COVID-19 antibodies. The approach to give the body immunity is a little different. So they go into your body's own cells and make them produce a small segment of the, the spike protein. So they get to the same place, it's just different means of, of operation. Dr. Jeb Andrews, CEO of Clinical Trials of America, says the side effects of the AstraZeneca vaccine has been very small, relating it back to how you may feel after getting the flu shot. We've done over 30,000 people in the United States alone in, in our trial, done almost 800 here locally, and have not had a single severe adverse event in the United States, period. People have tolerated it very well. Dr. Andrews says many have been suspicious of the vaccine, but believes locals will consider the AstraZeneca vaccine since the trial has happened in our own backyard. You know, it was difficult to get volunteers early on, but as we went on and people knew friends, family members, co-workers who had had the, had the vaccine and done well with it, it made more people open to taking it themselves. Now, the AstraZeneca vaccine won't be available for almost two years. Each person enrolled will have to spend 24 months in the trial. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Maya Hudgens. Dr. Andrews says AstraZeneca will be cutting data and releasing the information by the end of January. He believes that the report will show good results based on what he has seen locally in the Monroe trial.